Hi, it's Monday, September 14th. I'm Mark Friedman with my second video of the day. Second. Uh, front means peace. This means second. And um, uh, we're going to talk about, and I'm just an American citizen and love being one. And, and uh, no notes, no sense. And we're going to be talking for our Republican friends today, but also for our Democratic friends. Um, I'm, I'm very nervous about this interview that I saw. Brett Baer, he interviewed on Thursday. Brett Baer is on Fox. I watched Brett Baer. He tends to lean a little bit towards towards Trump, yet in uh, in this interview with, with this guy T.J. Ducklow, who is the national, uh, I think, the national press guy for Biden, and in another interview with a guy named Tim Murtaugh, who I think is the national press guy or spokesman for the Trump campaign. Uh, Brett was very clean and straight up and just asked questions on both. The Murtaugh one, let's get rid of that quickly. If that guy smiled, he's like a pane of glass. would probably break and go anywhere, go everywhere. But Brett asked him questions. He couldn't answer the questions. They were really softballs. And then today, Murtaugh puts out this question on Twitter. You know, will Biden please tell us one thing he would do different in handling the coronavirus than, than Trump? <laughs> he would have told the truth. You've all seen the videos. We, we know where. Is when he told the truth instead of the liar that Trump is because he got called out. But let's talk about T.J. Ducklow, and that worried me. A national press guy for Biden, he was on there uh, with Brett Baer, and Brett was asking him a lot of questions, and they were not hard questions. I don't understand it with these guys. It's like the Peter Navarro I talked about earlier. Just answer the question. You want to put your spin on it afterwards? Put your spin on it. So this guy, T.J. Ducklow, was horrible. Brett Baer was asking him question after question, the same question, and Ducklow wouldn't answer it. All he did, he sounded just like Kellyanne Conway. He sounded just like Peter Navarro. All he did was push his story, talk about uh, Trump lying about the coronavirus and everything. Legitimate, but you talk about it after you answer the question. It's either yes or no. You can give an explanation as to why it's yes or no. It isn't hard. Answer the question. I watch all the stations, as you know, and I'm, I lean towards Biden, of course. I'm up front of that. I just really dislike the president. He's just horrible. I'm clear about how I feel. But I got to look at how these guys are. And this guy, Ducklow, he was just like he went on Fox and became like one of the Foxies. All like the rest of them. But he just gave his spin. You know, when you don't give answers, nobody wants to hear. They just close their ears. Give the answer, T.J. Ducklow. Give the answer, Tim Murtaugh. Give the answer, Peter Navarro and Kellyanne Conway. Just give the answers, then throw your spin in. We can deal with it a whole lot better. And maybe it'll help your candidate. Ducklow, you better do some work on your, on your, on your presentation. Peace.